Hello everyone and welcome to Cory Losers where today I'm going to be quickly showing you how to install Ascendancy v1.1 since that was just released today when this video is going up. So this is the version which includes heroes, it includes a bunch of other fixes. If you look in the description there is a link to the mod database profile where uh, you can download the actual mod and see the news post which has a lot of the information. Uh, but once you have it downloaded this is how you install it and play it. So you'll have this file called trascendancy11.zip. Uh, this will be wherever you saved it to when you downloaded it. Uh, I have it in a mods folder already, so you're going to want to navigate, you're going to want to copy it and put it in your Documents, My Games, Ironclad Games, Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion, and then Mods-Rebellion v1.85 folder. So this will actually vary a bit for some people. Uh, after version 1.85, the developers made it so that any mods folder will work for uh, for any sins mod. So if you have version 1.85, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, 9, or 9.0, uh, any of those will work. So it could be anything between v1.85 and 1.90, or if there's another patch that comes out after this video, 9.1, whatever it is. So you're going to want to put this zip file in here, and then you're going to want to right click it and extract here. So you'll get this dialog that comes up. It'll change depending on whether you have WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. There's also a link in the description if you don't have any of those and you don't get any of these extraction options. Uh, if you do happen to only have a different version that only allows you to do extract files or extract to TR Ascendancy, you can do those, but then make sure that when you're done, your directory goes from Mods Rebellion 1.85 to TR Ascendancy, and then you get all these files. If it goes TR Ascendancy, then another folder named TR Ascendancy or TR Ascendancy, and then TR Ascendancy 11, and then these files. Just make sure the directory goes like this, or else it won't load the mod properly. It'll have an extra file in there, and it won't load any of the mod's files. So we're just letting this extract. Uh, that can take a moment. But included in this, you'll have the TR Ascendancy folder. You'll have a README with the installation instructions and, instructions and credits. And then you will also get, uh, once it's done extracting here, there'll be an enabled mods folder or file. And that's what tells the game which mod to load. So I'll show you how that works in just a moment. I'll also show you how to launch it up from in-game as well, uh, how to enable and disable it in-game, but that's just through the options menu. A lot of people I would probably know how it works. In previous versions of Sins of a Solar Empire, you'd also need a file called Large Address Aware uh, for most mods, but this was patched into the game itself. You do not need Large Address Aware anymore. If you have it enabled, then disable it. All right, so now we've extracted it. We have our folder called TR Ascendancy right here. So these are all the files you'll have, and then you'll have the enabled mods.txt file. So in that, if there's no mod enabled, it'll look like this. Just version zero, enabled mod count, a mod name count zero. If it's enabled, it'll look like this. So this is just the name of the folder for the mod. So it says TR Ascendancy here. You're gonna need to make sure it's the same as the folder name here. And if you're using the one included with the download, then it will be. So that's all you need to know to enable the mod at first. If you launch SINs normally right now, then it will run uh, it will run the mod, so we'll just launch that up. They've got the new splash screen. And I've just got to load it up so that it switches over the scene in OBS. It'll just be a second. There we go. Now if you go in options, you can also enable it this way. Uh, it'll also tell you where your uh, where your mod folder is as well. So right now it's Cory my document or Cory documents my games Ironclad games Sims of Solar Empire Rebellion mods Rebellion v 1.85. So if you're having trouble finding it, this button in game will show you where it is as well. So if you want to disable it, you can disable it like that, and then it'll load back up. So now we're loading up the vanilla game. And then you can do the exact same thing in game as well to re enable it. This can take a second. All 
All right, so now we're back in the base game, and then we can just re-enable Sentency, and it'll load back up. But that's really it. That's all there is to it. You just extract the file, make sure it's in the enabled mods full file, uh, or you can enable it in game. And there you go. You got the mod. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments there. Uh, we are going to be doing some community games on this uh, on this channel. So if you're interested in playing some Ascendancy community community eh, community matches, uh, just subscribe. You'll get the notifications when those happen. I also do previews of our Empire at War mods and playthroughs of other content. Uh, but we also have a Discord server which has some dedicated areas for Thrawn's Revenge discussion. So if you look in the description for that, you'll also see a link to that Discord server. So thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye.